chocolate. Seafood of all types on full display at the Boston Convention and Exhibition Center. Also on full display, people's full faces. You know, everybody talked about herd immunity. From our point of view, it was herd confidence. This event was the first to get canceled back in March of 2020 and hasn't been back until now. It's also one of the first to return this year with no major mandates in place. After planning and replanning and rescheduling um, over and over again, it's just surreal for all of us to be here back in person and to be together again. The conference brought in about 800 companies from 50 countries around the world. Their workers now back to traveling and contributing to the local economy as well. It's good to be able to be back in Boston and go out and see the restaurants that we enjoy and the hotels. And it's nice to see everybody's opening back up. And with all the countries trading in various seafoods, there has been no immunity to supply chain issues. It's ridiculous what's happening to the prices. Jerry O'Neill is a seafood wholesaler out of Gloucester who imports and exports fish. Two years ago, you might have been paying $2,000 a container. Now it's six, eight, twelve, thirteen thousand dollars, and that all has to be passed on to the consumer. Now, those inflated prices for seafood also come in the wake of President Biden announcing plans to ban Russian imports of fish.